that was the last time, the last time, baby. You pull me under like a real time, a real time. It's never enough, never enough, never enough. I think you just don't care. Never enough, never enough, never enough. But then you touch my hair. Never enough, never enough, never enough. Oh baby, it's not fair. Never enough, never enough, never enough, never enough. Hey, 
Traders. Uh, happy Monday to you. Happy new month to you, March 1st. And uh, not a bad start, right? Not a bad start at all. Where, you know, just yesterday when I was leaving, we were departing from the stream. Bitcoin had not confirmed a breakout, had not back tested a breakout, and certainly had not engulfed after the breakout, which is exactly what Bitcoin did, right? Um, in the end, you got a, it's very close, but you broke the supply line. You back test the supply line, then you, you engulf. So a break, cook, and go confirmation manifested into fall through price action to, uh, you know, 49 plus thousand dollars. And here we are. Uh, we just had four hours of nothing burger, and it's seeming like less than an hour to go until your first daily candle close of the new month and new week uh, happens. You, you might uh, be headed towards 50K. So that's 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 fine and all. I mean that makes sense. Like you know the triple MACD in the end, right? I mean, hey, it looked good, it looked okay, and then just not enough bids. Don't one more time to fall below a support to test the 200 moving average. That third time, right? Not two times, three times. That happens, man. I mean, so kind of the TA has been respected in in on the four hour at least, definitely. And now what could happen? is so the daily it looks great man it looks i mean this is best case scenario in some situations right where you're talking look at this very very nice bullish engulfing candle very very nice engulfing candle and what could happen the four hour okay the four hour candle the chart it uh, ushers in an engulfing candle on the daily and then it also ushers in the potential development of hidden bullish divergence on the MACD histogram. So in, in my opinion, where, where I think this would be going, you know, you gotta break 50K psychological resistance, but a 55K is definitely the X marks the spot for me, uh, based on the fact that on the four hour, you can certainly see an XABC going on D, all right, a bearish cipher, which I don't like. That's why I'll be, I mean, once we get there, if we get there, because nothing's certain, but I'm just, it seems very like possible that 55k would be where you're headed that is a 78 percent retrace and that's a bearish cipher right there and that's uh these are trend killers right this is how what ushers in major reversals to the downside for walk corrections uh so let's we'll see how this new wave goes all right i mean that's 786 conclude with the 1414 fib extension definitely seems very possible we get up there but at that point, we start reversing bad. Definitely going to be thinking about things, right? Considering, you know, hey, should I take profit if this is it? Because just remember, look where this is. Look where this is going. You see this, and then we just go all the way back. You've, been, you've seen this before. Some of y'all seen it before. Go all the way back to a different time in history, but it was a top. It was uh, extreme euphoria. It was a bear cipher exact same pattern that was developed uh, back in June, July of 2019 and little did you know at the time that that would manifest into a nadir point of 3850. Yes. All right, the whole beautiful run it all started with what? A bullish Gartley. The capit uh, capitulatory markdown, you know, after uh, 2018 um, bear market and then the reversal and then another reversal so you just can't rule it out again this is as low as it went eventually 3850 so here we are again man similar uh situation i guess uh you just don't like the lower low than the first low i always love higher lows because then it's like uh but the thing is, it could turn into a shark if it, things are really bullish, which would just take it up to one more Fibonacci 886. It sells off, back tested to chaos support, then you get a bullish 50, and then you go again. All right, I mean, talking something like this, bullish 50, and then it continues. That's also possible, as we've seen happen many times before uh, across markets. So the good news is, right, you still think there's upside. There's more upside on Bitcoin going on. Um, the daily is looking, starting to look okay again. The engulfing candle is really important. And we only have 44 minutes until that 
Candle closes and is confirmed. Very nice. So good to see y'all again. Uh, stocks, cryptos, bounce, Tesla top gainer. Gotta love it. I think I'm shadow banned today. Yeah, everyone's saying I'm shadow banned too. That's what's really disheartening. Yeah, man. I mean, I am shadow banned. Like, no reason. It doesn't make sense. First of the month. Best day to join the Patreon, and we already had multiple people join the Patreon. I'm talking within the, the past 10 minutes. Uh, so, Didic, Nathan, or Nathaniel H, Adam D, C, and uh, wow, just now, as I'm speaking, James H, thank each and every one of you for joining the freaking Patreon. Y'all amazing, all right? Thanks for waiting, you know. Kingsman. So Gavin, man. Yeah, it's pretty easy to, I mean, well, it's not really. I mean, you can just end the stream and restart it and try again to see if you won't be shadow banned. Uh, that actually works, but uh, man, just annoying, you know. Sometimes it subsides and just disappears, but uh, not sure what to do here. It's so weird, man. It's not weird, it's just trash. So, all right. See you at 50k probably. You break 50k. I mean, there think you have chance, good chance you're going to 55k off this engulfing on daily. Ethereum, same situation. I love Ethereum on the daily. Holy crap, what Ethereum did is like, you know my thought process. You've been watching the stream if you're a patron or something, right? Anything about 1386, 1420 is bullish. All right, that's why, like, do you understand my thought process on why I thought it was a, a, a valid point or argument here? Yeah, 10 minutes, I'll, I'll restart the stream. If it doesn't clear up, sure. So yeah, it, you did. You got a, a textbook fake out on Ethereum that, that uh, yielded prices lower than the critical area. It actually went down, I mean, fell below the, the high from January 10th even. Uh, but eventually, it's not about the breakout itself, remember? It's always about the price action correlation after the breakout. What was the price action correlation after a clear, concise, bearish breakout? I'm talking with a, a breakout, a back test, and then a bearish engulfing. Bamboozle, bullish engulfing candle back above 1386. That's a huge. That means that this breakout was literally fake. Fake news, not real. Okay, good. So now look what's happened. Things up, you know, assets up uh, 10% today, roughly, and could keep going. You know, from the, the high, all, all time high to the, the new swing low. You haven't even made a 38% retrace, which, which is at 1578 just above you. Think you'll probably test that. And if Bitcoin keeps rallying, you think 55K gets hit on Bitcoin, then you think Ethereum is probably going to see 1880 again. Or at least 1750, a 618 retrace. Which, if you're talking about dragons, which this is certainly a dragon, I mean, that target's right here. That's it. You know, the 618 and the, and the 786, both valid targets for just classic dragon patterns. Whoa, what the? I just did something wrong. Oops. Let's just act like none of that just happened. All right, just about $400 away from 50K. Seven, eight, six, and then your third target uh, oftentimes can just be that swing for the fences, like just, uh, the one, two, seven, two. This, is, this is traditional dragon stuff. But you get the six, one, eight, seven, eight, six, right? What happens? What happens to the seven, eight, six? What if it uh, is painting a major reversal harmonic? Okay, well, you're, you're playing the the C to D wave, and it, the that's it. That's the PCZ, and that's where the the markdown could happen. Fake news. I don't believe it, Gavin. See, that's got to be a fake Gavin right there. Has to be a fake Gavin because he's even said he would never tip something that that low, right? That, from his own words. So that's why one would take profit there. Top dollar tips. 
Do I think Bitcoin Casino paid top dollar tips? Yeah, that's that's got to be a fake Gavin chat. I don't believe it. I don't think the, the viewing audience believes it either, okay? <laughs> okay, so let's look at the futures real quick. Where you got Bitcoin in the bottom right. Uh, I think it just hit 50. Yeah, it just hit $50,000 briefly. So good for it. I see a reverse in here. Gotta, gotta love everything bouncing, man. Because it was... Didn't uh, Australia central banks like... Like panic buy a bunch of bonds or something? Because I think everyone kind of knew what was coming. If there wasn't maybe an intervention. It was scary. On, on thir Last week was bad, man. It was like... One of the worst uh, weeks for NASDAQ I know since September, so. Ah. That's funny though. Dude, look at that, I mean, that's testament to how, how uh, Gavin has become a legend already. People already, already fake Gavins out there. Hmm, okay. It's all right. Uh, that's just a way to size it up. You can do the same thing with Bitcoin, man. The, the wedge, whatever. You call it a wedge, call it a dragon, whatever you want. 618786 is traditional targets or targets. When you size this up, all the research was done on traditional markets, right? That's what I'm saying. Like, hey, we're not in a traditional market, but these are targets that uh, have been researched to be like the most cookie cutter common good for equitability right a three to one from breakouts or areas where there's divergence all good so you know 1756 1882 and then if we're lucky you know what could happen right it goes to 786 or the 886 and sells off 50 percent right pulls back maybe pivots making a higher low than this previous low and then runs again eventually to all-time highs this could take you know weeks to play out okay so it was like, it all looked good this weekend, and then we got one more dump to flush everyone out, to trigger stop losses, all that, right? Ah, typical. But uh, hey, that's okay. If you, you can notice the follow through, all right? You, you notice that stuff, you can get back in above 1386 and all is well, right? And, and ride the rest. So uh, let's look at Litecoin, which is sad. Unfortunately, it, oh! Oh, it's it's starting to try to break out right now. Bruh. So we can do this. Yeah, it doesn't gas uh, on Ethereum getting cheaper or something. Isn't that good? So it's not. I mean, the supply line's good and all. Hey, you're breaking the supply line. Congrats. But remember, look, look left. Wait, how do I look? You have to look right to make it look like I'm looking left for y'all. Look left, big deal. You gotta get above this chop. You're back in, in the zone, but you gotta break 180. You know, 179 really is the big one. Okay, you do that, I think you're fine. I think Litecoin's gonna do the same thing, right? I mean, let's just play it out for you or just paint it out for you. Let's Bob Ross it, I guess. 786 perfect it's a huge it would be a huge structure harmonic structure oh and it just so happens that the 78 percent retrace is literally exactly 228 dollars what is 228 oh we can look left uh way left and you'll know ah oh. It's the highest point where traders settled up back in February of 2018. Wow, TA Tetris. So that's X marks the spot for Litecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin. They're making these four hour big structures. You're trying to bullishly engulf here. Yeah, you broke that parabolic trend line. Well, we can get back above it. Yeah, we can rock it, Dave and Bella. Thanks for the 25 super chat. Sure, yeah. We'll look at it. So same thing here, right? If you catch bids, if Bitcoin catches bids, Litecoin's just gonna inherently catch bids. It's just how it always works, right? It's just sensitivity to the macro, it's high beta. Uh, the argument has been here that hidden bullish divergence would start developing whenever that happened. Uh, hopefully it's now, like, right? There's the divergence and all that stuff on these assets. And then, you know, over the coming few days, you just 
keep losing negative momentum on higher prices and are just, just and the development will be there and be oh my god and that means impending price action continuation the upside where you eventually you know chop up and down right up and down you go you go you at least go test uh, the high to double top and then dump and end the cycle or you run up to test it then break and go to higher levels so um, that's what that implies that type of stuff if it actually plays out i think you need more data you would want more than one one uh waning negative histogram wick more okay all right let's go a big one just for a second Look at this, dude. This is uh, where session highs right now. 33 minutes to go to the daily close. This is a huge engulfing candle. Let's go, man. And yeah, you know what's awesome about this? This was the Elon Musk $1.5 billion you know, purchase announcement, not the actual event that was down here. I think that was in, in January 28th when they did that. Um, so that's what is that? That's like pretty powerful statement. That's like, nope, whoever bought this on that news did not sell it those people that drove the price up still holding man they got diamond hands it seems like right for now so it'll be interesting to see what happens at 55 plus k hopefully we're not showing like bearish divergence or something you know rallies gets almost there sells off back test 50k before running again that's when you get that Bear severance on the uh, four hour or something. But the good news is, man, talk about prime, primo. Uh, you're at 58.79 and you're about to be in bullish territory, so the upside seems uh, real. Uh, there's, there's potential. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, that's what happens, Brad. It's, it takes time. But uh, good news, right? Very good news. Whoa, a $14.8 million sell. At this, the highest uh, sell order I've ever seen on AG, AGGR.trade. $14.8 million. Didn't do anything, did it? Didn't move the price? Of course not. Just random. Looked left and boom. <clears throat> oh, so I think we had a new patron. Yeah, Jorge, one minute ago. Thank you so much for joining the Patreon. Welcome, dude. Please be sure to sing with the Patreon on the Discord, where all the value is in the Discord, not so much on the Patreon. Okay, I'm just saying. It's just the way it is. Thank you, Jorge. See you in the Discord. And thanks so much to all the patrons who decided to stick around. It was most of y'all. It was mostly everyone. I mean, you know, you're going to lose a percentage it's just the way it is. Some people just, no matter what you do, will never see value. And then the majority will be like, yeah, there, there was certain value and they stick around. So thank you for support, showing your support. And the ones who did not renew, I still thank you for the support you showed before. Really means a lot, okay? So anyway, 10%, Bitcoin, Ethereum. We can go to uh, Bitcoin dominance. How's that doing, man? Still, oh, I like this. I, I like it's uh, springing back, testing that spring. Dominance looks like it could be getting ready to go up next. That price section's nice there. Not good for alts, but man, the, you were just holding this so long, so strong, right? I'm talking like right there. Look, it's that wick from May of 2017. You fell below it, but it doesn't matter now because you're back above it and you're holding it. So Bitcoin Dominus looking pretty good right now for maybe some upside next, right? Very possible. That's not good for uh, altcoins, but uh, I don't know, man. That's congestionary. It's almost like springing and you're back testing the spring or something. Okay, yeah, because anything above 62 is really bullish for Bitcoin dominance. Anything below 60 is bearish for Bitcoin dominance, as you can see from history every single time. Every time you fall to the zone and you hold it long enough, you eventually have big markups to eventually like 68 or 67 percent mark cap dominance. Okay. And then we can look at uh, Bitcoin's market cap period, right? 
while we're doing this. It's, it's almost the exact same chart, man. Got a little 3618 being tested and reversing. What's up, Safety Third? Thank you for the 10. Thank you, Leo DiCaprio. Much love. Bueller. Yeah, dude, no. Uh, actually, we are. Some machines of time. We're 130, 137 YouTube subscribers from 50,000 now, chat. 137. So that's not too much further to go. What a milestone, dude. I mean, that, that will be the single largest milestone of my YouTube career, I guess, right? 50K. I mean, that's greater than 10K, 25K. So we'll see. Same thing going on here. Market cap, you started the day at 845 billion. You're now at 922 billion, all right? Trillion mark is what? That's right around 53,000, I believe, if I remember correctly. For one trillion, 53 and change. I mean, hidden divergence arguments, the same thing, dude. Exactly the same. Oh, what? Did he really? When did that? Gosh dang it, it doesn't tell me. Oh, just now, Brad? Is that what you're saying? Just now? He joined? Brad? Bueller? Okay, so it seems like the real Gavin just joined the Patreon annually. So let's get some freaking. Perfect timing, uh, Gavin, man. It's like as I was doing it, the Jesus chimes were going. The ultra Jesus chimes. Thank you, man. Seriously. Uh, wow, Brad, how many annual patrons do we have at this point? This is incredible. Like, never would have dreamed it, okay? Okay. So, hey, uh, Gavin, since you're watching, was that the fake you? You never tip 690, right? Just, I gotta make sure, okay? Gotta make sure. So Bitcoin dominance, Bitcoin market cap, BVOL, so get Bitcoin volatility, and then we'll, we'll move on. We'll start uh, spreading it out. 53 annual patrons, according to the site right now. Unreal, 53. So BVOL's dumping on Bitcoin going higher. Okay, it's pretty, yeah, it's been pretty methodical, but still just, uh, it's still very elevated near the top end of the channel it's been in since uh, 2017, early 2017. <laughs> All right, gotcha, Gavin, gotcha. <sighs> oh, okay, you did. All right, yeah, sorry, sometimes tough reading. Hey, John Afonso, what's up, dude? Portuguese G's, man. All right, so we kind of looked at all of this. We looked at Ethereum, we looked at Litecoin. All right, let's, uh, let's move it over to the S&P 500 for a second, just for a few moments. Or what a freaking bounce, man. Just, just money printer says burr every single time. Things get scary. Something, an intervention appears. This. 2.38% up on the day, and just what can you say besides too bullish? Now let's see if it recaptures all-time highs. That, that'll be telling. And it's like the same thing for the IXIC, NASDAQ Composite, and guess what? Four-hour class C, no four-hour class B hidden bullish divergence. What's up, Hageki man? 
Just one of second opinion slash analysis things. All right, uh, yeah, we can look at it for sure. Thank you, Higeki man. So a gap up, I mean, so that just, you know, you get a mini gap up like this, you know what that means. You could easily fill the gap. Join the Patreon, hopefully by the end of the month, I'll have enough for an annual blessed Mitch thanks for everything man started tapping into the streams in January. Many blessings. Rub right, I got you, Travis, man. Well, we'll see. Uh, it seems like uh, the way things are shaping up in crypto, that uh, we're getting, we could be starting that new wave of the attempted rally on significant time scales that we see over and over and over again everywhere, right? Where you don't know what the attempted rally is gonna do. I mean, it's like only three things kind of can happen. You can make a lower high, double top, or a higher, much higher high, right? Or it can be like a fib extension. Either way, that's when you start showing uh, some really strong, more bearish divergence, right? On significant time scales. So let's We'll see how that goes, All right? So this is what could be getting ushered in on the NASDAQ. Very clear right here on the daily. All right, it's just volatility, man. Up 3%, you know, with down 3%, down 4%, up 3 So volatility is still really high up here. And, and like that hidden divergence, usher, what if you better not stall out at 1370 unless you want some sort of crazy looking head and shoulders structure, potential head and shoulders. So yeah, just continuing to rise like crazy. See what happens the rest of this week. Just gonna switch it to gold real quick. Terrible, dude. I mean, it's like maybe, yeah, I mean, you break 1750 and you know, what happens, man? All right, 1660, 1700. So you're just in a, continuing to be in a nasty downtrend or you it really could be like bots are set up to offload golds right and what happens with that gold they offload into cash goes into bitcoin i mean why not at this point the the world has determined like the the bitcoin is legitimate a store of value and it has more utility than gold and so 10 trillion dollar market cap on on golds you realize if it loses a trillion dollar market cap and it goes into Bitcoin, it's still gold and it's still valuable. It's still a thing, but it's probably terrible for spot price in the chart. So what happens if institutions are doing that? What if they are offloading all uh, quietly, methodically, and it's going into Bitcoin? I'm just saying, you know, today gold is definitely inversing Bitcoin. Oh, good man so this is a six month long correction now that is broken critical supports uh and yeah i, I do think your next target I, I don't even think it's these these are local sorry these are from like this summer last summer when i was we you know there were crazy trade setups my god over it was like bitcoin right on the way up tons of like momentum continuation setups over inverse head and shoulders three rising valleys uh flags pennants all the way up so you're on the other side though and like i think the next target really on gold you're looking like 1639 1650 isn't even really a good target because it's just it's not discernible on the daily there yeah i mean there, look man what happens on gold when it fails to break 1750 1800 straight up straight down straight up straight down straight up straight down really dude based on the history here 1522 like i get that this is here i'm i have it plotted there for this reason of this one time that one time gold you know before it rallied to the top again pulled back made the higher low than one but like dude straight down straight up straight down straight up straight down straight up straight down so you're below you just tested and failed so why in the heck technically could gold not eventually see 1522 based on the fact that's literally the only thing it's ever done once it determines that 1750, 1800s resistance and not something we're gonna break. Just keep that in mind. Technically, it was good when we were up at these levels, not anymore. It's actually technically kind of bad. So let's see the follow through we get. Are you broken critical support and divergence? Nope, no divergence, nothing, dude. So big in the chat. Hey, Steven M, what's up, dude? Yeah, we can do that, thank you. Uh, 
So it seems like Gavin says he wants all the impersonators to F off. Quoting him on that, so. Dude, I have no idea. The big Bulkowski. <laughs> Join the Patreon, let's go. The big Bulkowski. What's up, Crypto Tony, man? Please read the description below if uh, if you haven't uh, on request, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it, dude, but I don't even know. <sighs> I hate how the system's so screwed up, man. Um, I don't even get notified properly anymore of new patrons, so. All right, I'm just gonna play one for all those that you just posted, okay? Um, enter Ladist. Uh, Marius B, Scott M, Brian P, Hugo B, John Z, Matt M, The Big Volkowski, Biagio, and Pugsley. All of y'all. Thank you all for joining the Patreon. It's really bugged out right now, so thank y'all. Cheers. And uh, Anthony, what's up, dude? Thanks for the 20. Yeah, we added to the list. Absolutely. Okay. Um, you could imagine if gold did that, it's probably the same thing on silver. It broke a critical support. Almost. Okay. So what's up with that? Silver outperforming gold, only down 0.17% on the new day. It, you know, it was down like one plus percent. Uh, well, yeah, like 1%. On, the, it's weird because the this daily has been around for like two hours now. So just... It's, it's not the same time Bitcoin has a new day or stocks. So it's a couple hours off. So yeah, it fell below the supply line, but $26 is a big deal, man. If you can't hold that, I'm not bullish on silver if it falls below $26. But really, I mean, it's kind of that next low is $24.84. It could sell off and make a higher low than this previous low and then rally and get back above it and you're, you're fine. But because that's how you determine trend reversals when you break previous discernible swing lows. And that's the next one. But I mean, you know what happens if you can't if you can hold 26 long enough and actually catch some bids then 31 to 35 dollars but you know what happens if you can't all right this is real bad man i mean like huge mark markups and markdowns when you break back below 26 dollars with confirmation so this is your critical areas on silver and it's tough it'd be real tough for this thing to hold if gold keeps getting wrecked right But yeah, if it did hold, glory for silver. It's just, uh, it's okay. A lot better than gold, technically. Let's take a look back at the 10 year that was uh, scaring people last week uh, for, for good reason. Do, getting above areas that's not good, still above those areas, unfortunately, right? Uh, you know, this is it, like the size sign from uh, 2012 and 2016. You're still above it, man. So you want these things to drop as they elevate right now. They're still elevated, up 0.25% too, so. Yep, you want to see us? You want to see this asset break below that ice line again? Fake out. That'd be nice. Tweezer top, hopefully. Maybe. Maybe some bearish divergence. Class uh, two nose convergence. Hey, Drew. Please be sure to check the description below if you want to request. Thanks so much, man. Okay. Jorge, I just saw that, man. Uh, do I see a, do I think there will be a nice pump before day close? I mean, it's been happening, but um, I, the TA not, doesn't really tell you that, you know, like, hey, man, in the next 30 minutes, will there be a pump? It could, uh, but, uh, you know.
Okay, uh, rocket. Beautiful, right? I mean, look at that hammer. Look at that daily bullish hammer. Good God. And, and at the lowest area, right? The low risk area. And look how you got back above that uh, supply line. You just gapped up and mooned. You're up 11.21%. Then after hours, you're at 5.35%. You've actually, after hours, you were broken out. You're the highest levels you'd seen since September. And if you break that and you really do hold that, you, you probably come back tomorrow if this holds, right? Come back to $24, $25, uh, back test it. You could run to $31.20, which was the target of a trade setup. What's up, Ricky Bobby? Thanks for the uh, freaking 50, dude. Thanks, man. True, yeah, well, why it, man? So, Rocket, trying to break through, trying to break through the atmosphere. Perfect music, right? If I was, if I was breaking through the atmosphere, trying to make it to outer space, this music would be perfect. All right, 3120 is your target if you can sustain prices above 24 and 25 dollars long enough. Okay, that's a major range. Uh, you could even call it. I mean, that's like probably a Wyckoff accumulation range of some sort. See, 3120. That's a gap fill. That's why that's the target. Okay, you could even measure right the size of the, the rectangle structure, and it's probably gonna it take you close to that. Right, probably 29 dollars or something. So there you go, man. Rocket doing tremendous things. Very, very good things. Okay. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Genog, G N O G. Tough on the uh, oscillators here. You know, you extended amounts of negative Momo. You haven't seen any positive Momo since the 29th of December. Uh, 880, uh, you know, 78% retrace, 886. I mean, whichever one, man, you know, deep value, big deep value areas down here. So, yes, uh, here's the reaction low, right? Maybe you, get, you got a bullish hammer and a reaction low. So, that's just. You know, Scott Carney talks about it all the time. I mean, I do too, right? Harmonics are amazing. They're beautiful, majestic. But, you know, you get a rally up here, people start FOMOing in, and they don't know that the reaction low is the first low. And, and market participants that are moving this, driving this market, you know, they don't have confirmation until you get back down and you show a double bottom and inverse head and shoulders. Uh, divergence, very clear discernible divergence on that second low. So, um, yeah, right, it goes up to, to back test either one of these resistance points, it fails and sells off again, and hey, maybe you get the shot. At the same time, uh, you may never get that uh, reversal low. You get the reaction low, the reversal low. The first low, the confirmation low, I call it. So, it's great. It's at a very low risk area. Golden Nugget, online gaming, up 7.64% today, bouncing with the rest of the market. Yes, it's good, but it could be better, of course. But this is pretty amazing. I mean, if you're just talking pure value, Genog is, is one for you, okay? There you go, uh, Hageki man. Thank you, dude. Next one was, um, I think it's a crypto, yeah, yeah. Whew. Hmm. Bitcoin, and it's pretty much the size of the day. So, looking at this one, dang, dude, that's. I mean, yeah, right? Of course. Of course, triple MACD, bullish divergence kind of, RSI divergence, one low, the slightly lower low, but you're in no man's land, I hate that. Like, I just hate the fact that this thing has no, it's not bouncing off anything str strategic, right? Just It just manufactured and created a low for the first time ever. Those are normally like not this, the best, right? Those are not the strongest, but hey, it's still real, right? $22 was support and trying to double bottom off the uh, $22 mark and 
it's got not really gone anywhere but it's up 13.73 percent kind of difficult to even tell you know it, it, it this thing's up 13 percent today huh so even from your like swing low you know i mean you could even talk about it down here being a swing low whatever and the year 786 retrace i mean really close so you could be talking about maybe value i mean i think there'd be better value at the 886 but yeah, and I would think that would be the only thing that would make sense anyway because it's a 50% retrace on B, right? What's up, dude? Oh, uh, Real Estate Goose, we'll look at o ORN. Yeah, that was one of those newer S coins that, remember it painted that beautiful textbook harmonic after selling off? And it was just in, it was like a graduating class of harmonics, right? Where it was like ORN and stake and ocean and uh, maybe GRT. CRV was one of them, right? You remember that? Uh, there were a couple more that were the exact same, but ORN was in that category of it. Harmonic, oh, Rose, Rose coin was one. Oh my God. But now it's all over, like Goodfellas. Uh, you know, now we're getting, that That was like we were, you know, paying off judges and we were living the dream. And now we're getting egg noodles and ketchup on our, on these potential trades or whatever. Uh, they're, they're okay, man, but. So usually at least, oh, no, now I know why you asked about AAV, because it's breaking a supply line and the argument could be made wedge stuff. Okay. So think about a kind of a wedge breaking a supply line, a breakout kind of happening right now, past four hours. No, past like eight to 12 hours, sorry. And then you just anchor here to here it's it's not you know it's it's a wedge like one two three four and eh, like four or five touches it's close but okay seven eight six is where it start you know from this previous low here okay the so argument kind of strengthens a little bit yeah again the divergence the breakout all right so 33 bucks you got to break it but if it, let's just say the big one didn't dump and this was actually going to somehow play out okay let's let's say this was a confirmation low what are your targets on falling wedges? Just traditional markets, simply a 50% retrace and a 618. Sire. Okay. A V A X breaking a supply line. But you gotta do a lot more than that, okay? Let's just mark these up for you. If you're enjoying the live stream, the like button, that bell, that sub, see if we can get a thousand likes this stream. We could. We have the technology. We have the power. But do we have the will? Interesting. All right, we got uh, less than six minutes until your daily candle close. Thank you, Antonio. Stay blessed right back at you. Is that a joint? Thank you, dude. But if you can't stay blessed, it's probably because of stockholders, right? Just kidding. There you go, Stephen M. That was, this was for you. I like that uh, I discovered that, oh, there's reasons, some reasons why they're actually requesting these assets, right? NDR, uh, 20,000 coins, doing cool stuff. You can take loans against your NFT collection and Ethereum on NDR to wrapped Ether. Okay, on Uniswap. It's all right, man, whatever you, but I mean, the problem is, hey, you should have asked me about it before, right? I mean, hey, dude, what's going on? Certainly accumulation and legging up with the accumulation, right? It kind of reminds me a little bit like Theta, right? Theta before it, uh, it launched, that was a trade setup. It's the first time I've ever seen this. No one's ever talked about it before on the stream. 
NDR, look, you can see the acceleration of accumulation legging up from that initial demand line. You So much demand that it could never, uh, sellers could never even push it back down to that initial demand line. So you know, from there, moon, right, gone. So I wouldn't say there's kind of a sell wall uh, that was kind of created right there at 12 cents and then boom. Also X, A, B, C, D stuff too, where you're talking very deep retrace on B, which in a higher low on C, that's textbook, man. That's what we were looking at on GRT. Yeah, that's a, it's a butterfly. All right, right around the butterfly, 786, the higher low, and then the 1618, but it went higher. It exceeded the top of the pattern. And uh, you know, that happens, man. But, but regardless, it's not about, we're going short at the 1618 here. No, it's too crazy of a trend to be doing that. More so, it's like identifying the fact that when it re, uh, retraced or had that automatic rally, it was a really deep one. And when it's a really deep retrace, like a 786886, and then sells off and makes a higher low, that's when you get real bullish. Because then you're like, well, history repeats itself so much that we know just from experience that, dang, man. Now, say it was like a, not a 786, it was like a 38% retrace, it still could be good. But it's all about that. The deeper the retrace on B in these situations and, and the higher low, it's implying major upside next. Just, right? Cause it's just like that momentum, right? It, if it retraces so deep from its previous high, it's gonna take a lot more work to even make it sell off to make a lower low, it couldn't, right? And then it's, you know, 88% retrace and then just goes again. So now when you see those in these market conditions over and over and over again, right? I mean, Ethereum did it too, deep retraces. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Right, let's just go ahead and do it, right? Blue only eights. Oh my god, man. Ethereum's up 10%. Oh, almost 11%. Big one's up almost 10%. Binance coin up 21%. Remember yesterday on stream, we got the alert, the breakout's happening, and since then it's up 20%. How about that? Breakout. Let's just look at it real quick. It's gorgeous. How perfect was that, man? Beautiful on Binance coin. That supply line was perfect. And one bottom, a second bottom. Perfect. 265 next target, next resistance, kind of, right? So we're just running out of the clock now with less than two minutes. To the daily close, really great. Let's take a gander back at our nuanced way of looking at the way the trend really is on Bitcoin. Oh, it looked good, it was okay. And now it looks amazing. Look at this chat. Wow. You were $1,000 away from testing the parabolic trend lines, demand line, and the horizontal line support resistance, previous all time highs from early January. You just couldn't do it. It was, it was like pretty much you did, maybe. Like, uh, I think this is kind of a perfect interpretation of what really is going on with Bitcoin. And now you can just sort of extend this on out, man. And it's just more hidden divergence starting to develop here. You just need you just need the next few days Bitcoin to continue rallying. We need follow through price action if you want this hidden divergence to really develop here. Okay, on Bitcoin. There you go. Okay, very nice. Drinking some Urban Coffee, man. You know, it happens. Fifteen seconds. All right, till Jesus chimes. Sorry, what are you worried about? Everything is beautiful. There it is. A new day has been born. The first day of the entire month of March was a real good one. A confirmed bullish engulfing candle that could, in fact, usher in more development of the hidden divergence. As you can see out the gate, look where your negative momentum's going. It's waning more, right? So you're gonna go up and down, man. You're gonna sell off your rally, you're gonna crap around eventually. Hey, it could be a day of indecision, you know? But uh, that was a kind of a statement candle right there. Keep it up. 
And technically, what just happened on the four hour? Confirmed bullish engulfing candle. Nice. So you think 50K is coming sooner rather than later? You're so close to it. Why would you not test that psychological resistance after engulfing? Man, it's very possible. Whoops, sorry, I, just, I missed that one, dude. Uh, well, it's broken anyway. Uh, Ren, Ren Hurt, thank you for uh, joining the Patreon, dude. Welcome. Sorry, we're getting the tr streaming in the zone. Gets tough to pay attention to everything. Perfect, thank you, dude. Please be sure to sing the Patreon to the Discord. All right. Remember, X marks the spot about 50, uh, 5,500, I'm sorry, 55,000 is where we will all be on the edge of our seats because we know what's going on. We know there's this complex structure being painted. John Alfonso, oh my God. We got a session top Jesus going on. Oh. $176.35. A warm welcome to Gavin and a shout out to the best Discord community in the crypto world. Thank you for all and forever, Mitch. Love from Portugal. 1.0000000 LTC. Dude, thanks for the uh, one Litecoin. You see that? Hear that? I got a Litecoin contribution. So I've, I've gotten Litecoin contributions. I've gotten. Ethereum contributions. I've gotten just about every kind of contribution in crypto, but I've never gotten one Bitcoin before, right? Three rising valleys and approaching down sloping resistance. All the slash USD Binance. Sub Crocus. Oh, uh, we can look at it. Yeah, I think I remember something like that. It was looking okay. Yeah, I think I posted something about it on Patreon. Uh, we will look at it, yeah. A lot of these are showing like, just like, Bitcoin on the four hour. They're all looking, oh, good, man. Not bad. Not, not too bad. You got four hour, and if the four hour plays out, it could usher in daily development of hidden divergence, would, which would accelerate a more major move to the upside or a big attempted rally after that big 27, 28% drawdown from all time highs. Yep. Yeah. yeah, dude. Dude, what do y'all, y'all want Bitcoin to Canadian dollar name? Thought that was a joke, man. For real? I mean, like, whatever. I, I can... Just for, like... Uh, just This is for the memes, okay? It's for Gavin. It's it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I mean, it's freaking gorgeous, dude. I mean, it almost looks better, you know, than... than because it, almost, it looks like it kind of, you know, hit the, the curved demand line on the parabolic run, right? I mean... And, and now bullish convergence would be going on here. It wouldn't even be... Diverge. You can't diverge when you make a lower level on the histogram at higher prices. That's actually it's just bullish business as usual. Just imply it, it's it's strong, man. It's good, but again, if we're we're using the U.S. dollars, the metric, U.S. dollars, the uh, denominator, you know, it's gonna do well. Oh no, music's not. All right, so we're less than $200 away from 50,000, where, again, man, I don't even think 50K is the big point. I think 55K is it, the big one. What, this Canada coin thing? What is it? What is this? What is this, a currency for ants? Yeah, dude. Yeah. I don't know, man. We got, we got a lot of Canadians to watch this stream, so... I just, uh, you know, their their money looks crazy. That's all I can say. Their fiat looks insane. Did I miss another one? I did. Wow. Uh, Bartaz D, thank you so much for joining the Patreon. Much love, man. Please be sure to sing on the Patreon to the Discord. All right. You have to do that. Don't don't be like I'm joining the Patreon and then you don't join the discord and eh, you're doing it wrong you shouldn't unless you're like willing to join the 
discords the, like the premium discord i mean that's what you get when you join the patreon right patreon is a glorified payment processor for us so we don't have to worry about your sensitive information and data credit card stuff your dress all that so we let them handle that and they have third party application stuff that syncs up to the discord so you join patreon you immediately join the discord and then you get that patreon synced up with the discord that is just i have to say that because now, even if I say it a thousand times, every single time someone joins Patreon, you still get people complaining. Oh, what the heck, man? Where's all this stuff in the Patreon? Where's the value? And it's like, I'm sorry you can't read. If you can't read, the pay if you can't read, you shouldn't join the Patreon, okay? You have to read. Be able, You have to be able to read things, okay? Can't be illiterate. Everything works out, though, perfectly if you can read and do read. All right. No, I don't think we're getting 50K on this stream. I mean, we're close, but not like that close. Yeah, 119 YouTube subs from 50,000 now. 119. No need to freak you out. It's just reality, right? It's like uh, predictable patterns, things that have been happen over and over and over again, right? So, James? Canada will be the new world reserve. The loonies, man. I give you the water dollar. Water dollar? I won't sleep on WTER. Remember WTER chat? The Alkaline Water Company? Value? Still looks super good? Super sexy? What is this? Medallia? Yeah, we can look at that, uh, Ned. Thank you for the 20, dude. What's up, meth dude? Bruh, bruh. Map sixty six took twenty six dollars and sixty four cents. Forgot to take profits on the ENG trade setup. Oh silly me. Zero point zero 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 five three four seven two BTC. Pretty sure that worked out for you then, right? Thanks, dude. Oh, uh, we can we can look at it. Put it on the list. Thank you, dude. Uh, man. All right, I was adding alert at fifty k. You know, at the uh, horizontal line. So if it actually happens while I'm looking at something else, we'll hear the beep and we'll come back and, you know, yay, we can celebrate, right? Thanks for the uh, 1,638 people tuned in. Y'all amazing. Same thing, right? If we're looking on the eight still, here we go. Ethereum, great stuff, man. A big bullish engulfing candle on the daily. Bullish engulfing candle on the four hour. Aren't your highest highs of the week, the new month. Eventually, you're thinking 1756 minimum. If one was trading 1386, anything above 1386, 1420, that's it. And then uh, 1888, two, and then 2247. If it's actually going to, you know, if it ends up not being an X, A, B, C, D that reverses the overall trend, maybe it turns into a, a shark and then 50% retrace for going to all time highs again. So long term trend is still very bullish. All right, let's uh, go back to the requests. I'm sure no like one was on it. I mean, there's multiple ones, okay? Did we not look at that? Oh, yeah, we did look at it. Oh, uh, let's see. Ah, I see why you requested it. Right? Ocean power technology has obviously been in an uptrend since the summer last year, right? You keep legging up, and yeah, and now you're like, hey, what about this? I mean, kind of. Where's the external swing low? Is it this one? It could be X A B C D. Right, I can see that as a low there. All right, let's just outside the box thinking here. On that low, this is turnable on the daily. Too deep though, right? Yeah, it's a little too deep, man. It's like a 68% retrace. Too deep, man. So that, all right, 886 though. If it's too a little too deep, then it might be deeper on the, uh, on D, on the PCZ. So yeah, I mean, the oscillator looks great on the four hour, like, it's kind of like class C bullish divergence, but no reaction. I mean, you got a re reaction low maybe here on this hammer, but no uh, reversal low. What did it do?
Oh, wow. Back tested the gap from April 2019, and that clearly ended up being a reversal point. So what was once resistance, resistance, resistance became support for the first time ever. OPTT. Very interesting. That's good. If you, so you think it's, it might be reasonable and easy to size up risk here. Anything below 339, you probably want nothing to do with. Right? Remember, gap fills, according to Bukowski's research, in traditional markets like the one we're looking at, about 22% of the time in access support resistance. Well, this is certainly set up on this chart as a support resistance. I think you would agree. So this is it, man. So you just think about, and these are gap fills, those red lines. So you filled one gap, but you haven't filled a 789 gap fill yet. Way up here from April of 2019. So pretty simple. You're, you're just, you're, common targets to Casey Stubbs targets. That is pretty cool, dude. Pretty, pretty cool. So your targets, 616, 727, 789, right? And it's just like, it's up 6% today. So, I mean, but look, man, anything like below that, that, yeah, he, the price action you get, but you can see where I'm talking about, kind of, right? I mean, very similar to this. Now, it could always come and back test the 200 moving hours, so you gotta be careful, but um, trying to make it equitable. Radish, thanks, dude. Well, I'm glad uh, I'm helping in some regard, okay? I try to provide value. Um, I think about that wholeheartedly. Before I go on the stream, it's like, how can I provide value today? And if I look at an asset that someone requests, I do everything I can to try to do some education. I think this is great here on OPTT, and that's our argument. Our argument would kind of be because of where it is and what it's back testing and holding, and that's why the stop's there. But I just kind of worry about, what if it goes to test the 200 moving average and stops you out before going higher? All right, yeah, that kind of sucks, but, um, and you don't really have any help on the RSI on the four hour. You're not ever sold, you're not diverging. Uh, the daily though uh, could if it starts pivoting at these at this level then hidden bullish divergence could become a reality at some point i mean it would start becoming real and develop if you started pivoting here okay so this is a pretty interesting way of looking at things on optt nice man nice Go back to the loony real quick, the Bitcoin loony. Two seconds. So we got trend analysis, harmonic, a little bit of technical indication. Bitcoin is uh, less than $100 from 50,000 again, chat. Can you believe it? Nice request. Okay, so we, Patreon's messed up right now in terms of notifying me on things. So real quick, let's just, this is quicker, more efficient anyway. My, my Selly man, Michael S, Lorenzo, Vapid P, Joe H, Spoda B, Illa flow. Thank each and every one of you for joining the Patreon in the past uh, couple minutes. Rafat Q and Jonathan S. Thank you too also for joining the Patreon just moments ago. Thank y'all. I just am having trouble without my notification system. Brad's having to send it over. Okay. Thank y'all. Please, each and every one of you that joined, you have to. Right? You have to sync up your Patreon to the Discord. Download Discord if you don't have it because you need it. Here we go, chat. $50 away. Why not? Why are we not going to test 50K and fail and go to zero? Or test it, break it, and run to 55K eventually. Okay. How are we going to not test 50K before dumping or pumping or doing nothing, right?
Okay, going back to Shadow Bands. Nice, dude. I love when I. That's nice, dude. Free. So, Kurt. Chain link. Targets, sir. Targets. Oh, you penny because iOS YouTube sucks. We'll look at it. Thank you, dude. Okay, get all these requests. Like one was next. Ricky Bobby. It's break. It's broken out. All right, we have a breakout. Um, a bullish engulfing candle breakout. Of supply line. Uh, you get back about 179. We're back in business, man. We're in real good shape. 179 is a breakout point. And that's where I think you could eventually see 228, which would be the 786 PCZ, this huge harmonic. All right, I think we're just. It's like a dragon, like a lower high dragon breakout. And that's the target eventually, 228. And then at that point, that's where a major reversal of the downside could occur. The Infernity. Thank you for joining the Patreon just now. Much love. Sometimes it works. The uh, notifications. So weird. Wow, someone bought a... Uh, the fleece blanket of the merchandise of the chart patterns, right? They already have it. Look at this. <sighs> yeah, check out the merchandise. The the new chart pattern uh, art is so cool. It's got like all the different uh, chart patterns and stuff, bullish and bearish, and yeah, you can get it in a blanket form. So yeah, and there's the uh, Discord link that Brad just posted. Be sure to join that too. Okay. So let's go Litecoin, man. On the cusp of a big breakout again. Okay, where it could take you to 228 eventually. I'm sure there's more to talk about, Ricky Bobby. I'm sorry, man. We did cover it. Uh, this is the second time we're looking at it today. Next one. Next request. Yeah, dude, it already broke out, remember? Um... This one had like a little supply line and it broke it and now it's running it's at all time highs. Well, it's it's about to be at all time highs, right? ORN, things stupid, dude. It's gone, man. It's gone. And this is, remember, this is how it all started. We identified this back in uh, late December, early January. Yes, January, the J is silent now, okay. Get with it, be progressive. It wasn't too conventional because it was a 176% retrace on C, but it was still an XABCD no matter what, one time, two times back testing resistance as support, two times. So yeah, hidden divergence uh, from a low to the next low, and yeah, it's pumping now. You break $15, I mean, in time you could see $20, right? Each dollar that has to act as, as a resistance kinda, all right, psychologically high to low. I mean, your gold mean ratio is 1830 short term. Okay, zoomed in. So, yeah, supply line broke. Great. Real estate goose. I mean, KuCoin, Binance doesn't really matter. It's the same chart, right? I mean, pretty close. All right, I'll go for Crocus. Yeah, dude. Crocus, man. Yeah, yeah. Similar to Bat in ways. <clears throat> more like uh, to me it's uh, more fitting as a, an ascending triangle a ascending triangle reversal beautiful yeah and you're trying to break the major supply this is gorgeous dude right I mean this is very pretty very pretty structure right here as you can see the teal that is the the pattern right just flip it over Wow, dude, major downtrend, big rally you had, and now you're showing distribution with a buy wall, gross. I don't want anything, and you're about to, you're breaking the demand line here, no thanks. And you just tested and failed to break below the 200 moving average three different times, disgusting. Just kidding, incredible, absolutely incredible looking asset right now, algo. Long-term uptrend. 
Yeah, midterm downtrend. And you're talking about targets. You're talking about a 100% measure move of a breakout here. Okay, fine. Your target on algo eventually is 153. And then after that would be kind of these all time highs at 171. Magnifical. I love it, dude. This looks great. It's not the easiest to size up risk at this current level. But then it's like kind of like, do you even want to be below that uh, 200 moving average again? Probably not. Because you just tested it a billion times. So having to stop just down here at like 96 cents, you still get a 3.81 to 1 reward risk in the situation, right? Then you got uh, second target, 171 or whatever. That's uh, 5.35 to 1 right there. So, ah. Algo. Remember, Algo before. There was opportunity. It was a beautiful inverse head and shoulders down here. There's a trade setup. Played out. Exceeded targets by far. So, you just, if it was going to act as a bullish reversal pattern, a lot upside on Algo chat. All right? Okay. Okay. What's up, Dad? What's up, Craig Holmes? Thanks for the 16-pound uh, super chat where we found out, we've all found out, I am very, very British. I have tons of English blood in me because my sister did a 23 and me and we got the results, so no idea I was that much of a red coat. So I'll take the pounds, mate. I'll take the pounds. I might move to Birmingham. $50,000, chat. Let's go. Let's freaking go, man. We did it, dude. We broke 50K. Like, it was a joke, dude. Let's go back to Bitcoin. You did it, man. You broke it. The What's up, uh, Jorge, man? Well, there you go, dude. Let's go. Can we look at just engine coin on Thanks. Sir, yes, sir. A uh, Seth J and Vice writer, thank both of you for joining the Patreon just now. Much love, here you go. Jesus Chumps, of course. Uh, Leroy Jenkins, yes. Is that a joint? Thank you. Whew. Okay, so it seems like finally, dude. Finally, uh, Patreon's updated. We lost a couple hundred, all right? So we're sitting at 1,116 patrons now, chat. So you know, not worse. I mean, it was, I thought it was going to be much worse than that with the last couple weeks been just terrible. But I mean, like, you know, that's that's like nothing. Only lost a couple hundred. What's the percentage? So thanks for all the ones stuck around and the new ones. Thank y'all. Uh, remember, targets, I mean, you know, you got like, you can deal with like, right now local 50,954 like highs and then above that's like uh, 52,213 but again if we're talking about complex structure XABCD 55k is the target eventually all right let's go bat yeah dude bat broke out let's go to it you saw you broke out you even back tested it for eight hours and target eventually 75 cents three rising valleys this one was better looking than algo um i don't know not really because all you know it's like this is definitely three rising valleys because you don't have these highs matching this high there wasn't a sell wall it's just the confirmation line that you broke so the hidden divergence was really nice on that third valley and we got most of that run up so this trades deep in the green for now we need it right after the past couple weeks So 
up, Craig? Oh, thanks, mate, for the uh, for the native the native currency for the crown. What's up, LR? Thanks for the 2019. Sure, we'll put Palantir on the uh, the list. Okay, Ethereum's doing good stuff too. It's actually up 1.74 percent, so outperforming Bitcoin on the new day. Go, go, 1346. Sold up. Please read the description below. On request stuff, thanks, dude. Yeah, who knows, Brad? It's all it's broken. Like their their system's not set up at all, like for us, right? For the top point zero one percent of Patreon accounts, right? Okay, so we're just uh, we got some price action on the second day of March, Universal Time. Uh, checking. So Medallia was next. All right, let's look at that real quick. Well, this one's like a long time coming, right? Yeah, Medallia. Remember, remember that time? It was an insane Ember Set and Shoulders. It kind of doubled. It made all time highs, but it double topped, and now it's like right at it. So yeah, if you can get back above forty three twenty four, oh yeah, dude. I think fifty three seventy two eventually and beyond. Uh, remember this, Medallia? I think on the weekly maybe. Yeah, look at this super textbook structure. Yeah, so it's all about if it can get back above this high and hold, then it's going to much higher levels. Okay. Medallia. Yeah. There you go, Ned. I don't know if you're newer or whatever, but this one we have someone has discovered this, and we've we've uh, been monitoring it and covering it, and it's been doing exceptional. All right. So it's all about the ifs and the you could always come in back test thirty four eighty eight, and it would be the first time in history on the weekly that it, it back tests what was once resistance as support. That is always possible, but at the same time, it's up seven percent today. What if it breaks back above $43 first? Then it won't be able to go to 3048, $3488. My God. If it breaks that, you think the probability is higher? Let's see 5372 before 3488, okay? So, nice. Now, no bearish divergence at all. None. Gotcha, Craig. Thanks, man. Sure, mate. The England, mate. 50,001, no, I'm sorry, 50,213 right now. Beautiful. Oh God, it's just so pretty, isn't it? I mean, just looking at that engulfing candle, <sighs> hidden divergence being ushered in. What's up, Ross, dude? Is that a joint? Yep, roll tide. Uh, we'll look at it, XLM. Okay. Engine, real quick. Where is it? Can I move it? Dude, where is it? It's not on the watch list anymore, huh? Somehow, engine is not on my watch list anymore. I did not move this. Wow. Whoops. I want to say. What a joke, dude. Oh, there it is. Gotcha, dude. Yep. My bad, PHA slash fist, please. Well, this is the way it was. Yep, sure. Sure. So, this is the way it was uh, on engine. Uh, where you know, so like Meth said he forgot to take profit. Good, I mean, 
it was perfect, right? I mean, that was the first target trade set up. And then, yeah, Insanity actually went down to the old demand line and, and tested it and then bounced, rallied, sold off, then pretty much back tested the uh, old supply, uh, sell wall, right? And it's now at, at all time highs, higher than it's ever been today and yesterday. Uh, so clean it up a little bit. Oh my God, inverse head and shoulders continuation pattern. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't think so. Just right there. You see where you are. This is a new high at 67 cents. Big support resistance now. And you're above it, right? You are above it. So target wise, I mean, just from the new high to low, it's pretty much how you're gonna target. Uh, 76.6 cents, 81.3 cents. Your golden mean ratio is 88 cents. So that's probably where it could be headed if it actually is gonna keep going. Okay, engine. Meth, thanks dude. So Elliot, roll tide dude. Wow, multiple Bama folks in here. Sweet. We're growing. Hey brother, can you check KRMD on the four hour? Trying to apply the education you teach. Thanks, roll tide. Give it a shot, Elliot. Thank you. Let's see. Next request and order member. You can fast track, but it'll cost you. All right, Neo, we showed divergence and then he sold off to test the bottom, which was crazy. $32 is not a joke, dude. $32 go all the way, goes all the way back to 2018. A major congestion area. It's now it's double bottomed off that, wow. And yeah, $40 to $42 is big, dude. Yeah, this could be, I mean, think about it, man. This thing's a dragon. Um, it looks like an XABCD, mini, uh, like a mini one. It's broken its supply line. Kind of tough to discern. Like where was the supply line? Adjusting, adjust. I mean, if it was like that, you like broke out, sold off, then back tested at support, and now you're rallying. Even if you adjusted here like that, okay, you still, you've broken out no matter what. So it's all about can it break $40? We can break $40, $47, and then all time, or not all time high, but multi, the same high you were at February 21st, $54. So not really going anywhere, right? It's not really doing anything. It's underperforming Bitcoin. You know, Bitcoin's rally. And it's like an XABCD thing. It's just pretty much synced up with Bitcoin where the 786 is gonna be around $50. I mean, yeah, it just continued with divergence, right? It was like, you had the divergence, which screwed everything up, right? Like, oh man, we got it. And then it sold off again. And it's like, when you see a huge level negative MMO and then you get two levels like this, it's almost like you're just continuing that bullish divergence. Okay, like the bears couldn't really get much going on this, this lower low than the previous one. Even if it looks like convergence locally, it's still pathetic. I've seen this before on Bitcoin too. Like even this was like right before the COVID crash, where you had bearish divergence, then it rallied a little bit more, and then showed class C bearish divergence similar to this before dumping, crashing at 3850. So, yeah. So maybe it's a dragon. Uh, Forty-seven dollars. If you were talking about a target, would be the first target here. The six one eight territory is high from February or Valentine's Day. Uh, but you you understand how important forty is. Forty forty one. You have to break that. Not gonna do it if Bitcoin doesn't keep going. You got like a headache now. Chain link, same thing, man. Dragon stuff. Couldn't hold that demand line, obviously. But still in an uptrend, right? Still very much making higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. I think anything above $27 is big time, it's a good deal. Where I mean, like, oh my God, what? This, this is the same thing. This guy's doing the same thing on all these assets. Yeah, get mad at me, man. That's my fault. That this is such a homogenous market, right? Whichever way you anchor, right? It'd probably be wisest here because you got one and two up there, and look, you got a third touch there. So, like, 
same thing one valley a second third valley okay and you've broken back about 26 i think the target on link at this level if bitcoin doesn't dump is 35 dollars back right back to 35 bucks is the target look i mean that's like it's kind of straight up straight down straight up yeah halfway but mainly straight down so i always think if you're talking about equitability equitable trade stop below 25 50 and then profit taking at 35 34.99 whatever so it's dragon like everything else okay I don't know if it's worth it, man. Like I've been live for an hour and a half already, so. I'm like shadow banned, still chat. Such a joke, dude. They can't, they don't do anything to help either. Let's try to get these requests, all right? So Kevin, yep, try to add it to the list, man. Yep. God, there's so many requests. They don't stop, man. So, yep, thanks, dude. Pa Palantir. Yeah, yeah. Low risk area, 161A. Yeah, I mean, you're up 3.81% today. You gapped up. Gap probably fill at 24 bucks. But eventually, $33 in time. Yeah. Nothing's changed here. Nothing's changed. It looks, it looks okay. It looks good. Diverging on the four hour. Kind of the MACD, but definitely on the RSI. Yeah, upside, this is low risk down here. Very low risk on PLTR. I know it, it could look a lot better on the MACD, but if you have help on the RSI, kind of kind of see, it looks it looks good, man. Impending price action, reversal of the upside on PLTR. That's it. That's it, dude. Eventually, 3349, 3934, and 4493. CA and this high from November 27th, that's it. All right. I mean, I don't know what... You want to look at this, Sulta. You want to look at it, so... Here you go, dude. So much data. So much data. 80 cents. So 1.2 percent a day. I have no data. Right? Nothing on the daily. Nothing on the four hour. It bullishly engulfed on the last four hour close and could run to 92 cents. If it breaks 92 cents, then maybe, maybe, eventually, 149. You can't like be mad like, oh, I'm going to request this asset for $20 and then I come here and I'm like, that's it. That's your fault. You can't get mad at me for being like, what do you want me to do? Right? Don't get mad. Engine to BTZ, actually a request. There was the ice line, there was the low risk area. 490 Satoshis, look at that balance, man. Dead middle of like a range, I guess, right? Please, please read the description below if you uh, are requesting something, thanks. Thank you for the 15. So this level, you're the dead middle, I don't know, man, right? What are you gonna do when you're in the dead middle of like support resistance areas where major reversals occur, you know? Not much, you flip a coin. Yeah, it's just kind of like a little rectangle here, I guess. Yeah, rectangle, 
whatever, man. I mean, up and down. Could could keep going. I, I don't know, man. 1896 could be where it eventually runs to if it if it's gonna go from where it normally bottoms out and runs to. Well, it always goes to at least 1896 when it bottoms out. So that's where it could eventually go. Engine and beat BDC. Excellent. Hidden bullish divergence continuing to develop. Very bullish. Very, very like impending price action continuation of the upside on XLM. That hasn't changed. Still is not broken. The supply line, Ross. Not yet. But hey, one valley, two valley, three valley. All right. Could be three rising valleys. All right, on the four hour. Yeah, like kind of similar to a bat. Where you see a valley. You see a... Another valley. And you see another valley. You see three valleys, and you're in that third valley is above uh, critical supports from history. Yep. I mean, the target on this asset, if it rallies, is probably going to be like 52 cents, and then after that, 58.7 cents. Yep. Bullish trend, man. Very bullish trend on XLM. Uh, poised for a breakout. You're right at it, man. And you just bullishly engulfed in the last four-hour candle. So add uh, inverse insult injury. Right? Yeah, bullish. XLM. Looks good, man. Looks three consecutive or three higher lows, man, after divergence. I, I like it, man. Just Bitcoin app can't crash or dump. You know, big one dumps. Forget it. It's not going to happen. It's just not going to be able to perform. But if Bitcoin rallies and can break 50K, which is clearly testing as resistance right now, if it can break it and runs 55K, I think XLM's got a good shot of running up to test like the next highs, 52 and 58 cents, all right? This has no volume at all. Does not meet the minimum criteria for volume on KRMD. But yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get like why you're asking about it. Because it looks like it could be a potential double bottom. But where is it bottoming out at? I don't even know. There's, Where's the real support? Uh, dude, to me, it could look like a crab pattern where there's more downside. Yeah, look at terrible like what you just what was once support supposed to be support is now resistance and you're below it and yeah it does look, it could double bottom here but there's no like what does it do like where is that like what about this what if this happens just think about this pattern i mean one six one eight is the cheese you know like way down here i mean you could have something like that going on yeah i mean it's interesting keep, keep your eye on it but really that that right there oof, kind of kind of rough man you're again this what was supposed to be support is now resistance that's not good you're confirming and you just fill the gap the only reason it ran up like that was to fill that gap before selling off marking down so yeah some divergence there Maybe the weekly is good. Yeah, weekly kind of showing some serious divergence there too. But what if it goes a little lower to test the 200 week moving average at 347? Yeah, there's a the strongest supports down at like 180. But yeah, add it to the watch list. Let's monitor it and see what happens. Looks like there could be divergence argument on the weekly. But man, it's just like lately that's been such bad performance. Like, look, you had all the divergence, all the divergence, and it ran up and just made, look, look what it did. Now like the, the negative momentum again after a pathetic trash rally. Oh, I didn't even fill the gap, it doesn't look like. I don't mean the wick to wick it did, but not the candle body, so. Stay about 365. If you go and test that again, you hold it, you fall below it, and you rally back above it. Just keep pay attention to it. It's one to, to watch. But I don't know quite yet if it's amazing to take a long on, right? Not quite yet. Let's 
cell. So when asked for cell, beautiful, beautiful bearish cipher pattern. This is what we worry about on Bitcoin if it ever gets to 55K. It's the same thing, right? Big markup and then the XABCD is painted and right at that PCZ, reversal, man. You're reversed. But hey, reversal, if you're in a really bullish trend, now it goes to be turning into a, another harmonic, right? It could be like XA, B, C, D. 886, though, is the PCZ on this one. What's up, dude? I don't know. Sure. So maybe maybe you're working on a bullish bat pattern, which is all it could be. It can't be a. It cannot be a Gartley. You have not hit the PCZ of this yet. Love when they look like that, though, right? I mean, it's, that's gorgeous. So four dollars. Three ninety four. I think this is all time highs. Yeah, all time highs. So maybe uh, some more downside. Yeah, you were diverging and stuff for sure. So I mean, seven eight six eight eight six value, but you were actually being like textbook here, like four bucks. Okay, let's see what happens, man. Yeah, seven eight six could reverse here too, sure. But it doesn't make sense because B is forty eight percent retrace, so fifty percent retrace is not a six one eight. So therefore, the PCC is actually the eight eight six. CEL. 200 more likes to 1,000. I mean, we could do it, but I don't know. A new S coin. Wow. A new S coin. SFP to USDT. Okay. I mean, do we really want to do XABCD? I don't, I don't know, dude. Like, yeah, divergence, a lot of diver. It's like it looks like Bitcoin on the oscillators on the four hour. Yet it's really gone nowhere. You know. Not much data at all. No data, really. Yeah, look at the daily. Yay, bullish and golden candle on the daily. So maybe it gets price action. Sure, dude. All right, see how Bitcoin tested 50K and is reversing at it. That's real, man. Psychological resistances are real. So maybe SFP catch, catches some bids. Maybe you get followed through price action off the bullish and golden candle. One of your only bullish engulfing candles ever on this chart. So I think it's the second one ever on the daily. But man, if you request these, like you just can't expect anything from me, really. I mean, come on. You can look at like there. Hey, there is there a supply line there? It could be. Yeah, that could be a supply line. So you're not even at it yet. Not even close. Baby reverses. So underperforming right now. Please with the moaning noises. Hello, sir. Stack, stay, slash you dot s dot d. Please, year time frame. Big cup, making a handle. All right, well, look at it, man. I've been live for an hour, 45 minutes. All I've done nonstop since the Bitcoin analysis at the beginning of the show was, you know, and a couple other assets across the markets. So you're updated. It's request. I have not stopped. It has not stopped. Okay, real quick. Uh, Joe Fed, John W, Carlos R, Voltaire, Matias M, Micah G, and Kevin. Thank you all so much for joining the Patreon. And the time I've been doing all these requests, I've had no time to check. Thank y'all. Please be sure to see the Patreon and the Discord. You have to do that if you want the value. Do it. Okay? 
you'll thank me too and you get there and you're like holy crap this i mean just imagine being a patron and not being a participant in the discord patreon chat holy crap which is so valuable invaluable EOS, down 1% on the new day. Guh, alright. Dumped. I mean, it's like holding support. It's not really going anywhere. It's not even making a higher high than the previous local high. At least Bitcoin's making a higher high than this its own local little high. This one's not. This one's back testing 368 as resistance, man. Gross. God, the chop zone on this, man. Look, this right here, you're below that from November 2019. So. You get back above it, sure, you could go into 423, but not until then, okay? Yeah, diverging the soul way, it's just similar to Bitcoin on the four hour, but underperforming Bitcoin massively below the 200 moving average. I see a lot better assets out there than EOS, okay? A lot better ones. If anything, this is a 618 from the previous low, so you know there's probably more value down at 275, $3. Nothing sticks out. It's like, whoa, this one's so special. Oh my God, I can't believe it on EOS. Sorry. Don't get mad, man. Just the way it is. And that's the way it's always been, really, on EOS. Like, since 2017 ended. Yeah, dude. Great run. Wow, dude. But what about EOS, man, between January 27th and February 14th? Yeah, like all the other coins that probably three to five times outperformed EOS. Who cares if it had a rally? It's just a bad performer. And it's out of support but it's not really doing anything after bouncing on support. Like, that's pathetic. That's it. That's all you could do after divergence. Where are the buyers? John Travolta everywhere. Yeah, stay got killed somehow. I don't even know why. Because uh, it, it, like, decoupled from everything. Weird. I mean, kind of. Like, right? I mean, this is very, very good looking. I mean... Really, really, really good looking, right? You have a confirmation low now, a little bit below the PCZ, which is okay. One valley and your second valley. This is it, dude. I mean, if this thing's gonna take, it's time. It is It is time for stake to break 28. Once $28 gets broken on stake, you're probably going to $43, which is all time highs, okay? Back from September 2nd of last year. This is it, man. This is it on stake. It could be time to rise. Look, man, a demand line, Look at this demand line. You almost hit it right there. Previous resistance became support. Stake looks great. Triple divergence. Beautiful. So, I'm telling you on stake. It's not EOS. It's better than EOS. Ten times looking better looking than EOS. Okay? Well, I'm telling you, stake, if it breaks $28, it's probably going to $40, $42 to $43. All right? That's it. That's where it's probably headed. Beautiful. Did you say steak? Yeah, we did. EOS Moon Boys, which I don't even know how that could exist, are triggered right now. All right, steak. That's it, dude. We did it. We finally got through the requests that all met the minimum criteria. If you didn't tip 20, then, well, don't get mad at me, man. There's a description below that says $20 minimum for all requests. Always. Now. What's up, Bone? Bones, man. Lizzie. It's the dragon. <laughs> Sorry, it's broken. There we go. Done in a while. My four year old is watching me with you. He loves the hints of the dragon. Can you say, Jacob, it's a dragon? My son loves it. Hey, Jacob, it's the dragon. Let's go. I appreciate that you keep it real with you. Thanks, Ben. Because you recommend some books to read for a new trader. I could, but then I could just tell you to join the Discord, the free Discord. And there's an educational resources tab that's free that tells you all the books that we recommend. So I think you should do that. Instead of me telling you here, 
if you're proactive and take initiative, you can get all the answers, all those questions, that question just answered, answered 10 times over in the Discord, okay? And then there's JMOB and Brad posting the Discord link. Click it, join it, then go to the Education Resource tab, okay? That's it. Boom. Thanks, Mr. Jedi. Be Jedi. I say hello to uh, to Jacob Bones. Right back at him. Boom. We did it, man. So what a stream. Been live about two hours now. Thanks for the uh, 1,250 people tuned in, right? I mean, I don't, I don't get it, man. It's like, what am I supposed to do, dudes? Like, I don't know. I guess there are just far more entertaining people than me on YouTube that cover crypto. I don't know. When I start doing the requests, people just stop watching. I don't know. People just, dude, stare at Bitcoin the whole stream, please. Or I'm rage quitting. I'm like, all right, sure. Here's your Bitcoin. I did. I looked at Link. Chat, someone bat me up that I looked at the chain link. I started watching Vikings. Someone recommended it. Someone in the someone said it's better than Game of Thrones. I don't know about that. But it really I'm hooked on it. I've only watched like five, six episodes or something. Vikings is good. Watch something. Can we look at SHW? Gosh dang it, man. Come on, we're two hours in and that's all I've done is just requests. I just, can I get a second to breathe? Maybe get some dinner, you know? Oh, you're talking about the Citadel, the Bitcoin Citadel. Patrons want to post that real quick and I can just show it on screen real quick. Patron, someone in the chat. I was going to do something. Yeah. Wolfman, is that you? I oh, never mind. I thought you were going to post it. There it is. There it is. All right. We're going to bring it up on screen, okay? We're going to bring it up on screen. Big screen. Sorry about the beep. Here it is. This is the Bitcoin Pepe Sylvia chart, which is uh, hilarious because someone, uh, some like CNN, like the, some fake news company, posted an article literally on this, and they talked about how this is actually real, where this could become reality, where people like us own the world, where we are the elite. And it was like fear mongering, fear concern trolling. Like that was the whole art article. And I'm like, bring it, please, let's do that, man. Okay. For the people that had the IQ to own this asset with what it's doing and it's math and stuff, let's make it a reality where we are the dukes and princes and kings of the world. Okay. One third of burgers have less than 1,000 in savings, right? That's Those are all your peers. Your peers that uh, just will not like all these years you've been caring about bitcoin and stocks and just the markets in general like those are your peers probably a lot of your your friends and my friends they're just going to be stuck in that cubicle below the citadel for you know the next 40 years 30 years and then they they retire from their nine to five and then they're really old and their whole lives passed them by and they made someone else rich in the process. And they look at themselves and they say, what was my legacy? Well, I was good at the job that someone gave me. Get wrecked, burger person. And we're up here, okay? We're up in the generational wealth areas, okay, and beyond. And maybe some of y'all, some people are the make it stack, break it stack, so it was just one at least, right? <laughs> That's it. Oh, yes, yes. This is the way Bebe does the years 2028 of the second age. Uh, one Bitcoin is now one, worth $1 million. Perfect. That's it, dude. The Bitcoin. What if failure 
at 50,000. Couldn't do it. Couldn't break it. Now you really do want to break above 52k because that's your neck. That's kind of a discernible swing high on the four hour. Look right there. It's like 51k. You really want to eventually break 51k because then it's like okay continuation where we go. We'll see 55k next. Yeah, the Bitcoin aristocracy. If there's hyper Bitcoinization. Oh wow! I figured it was gonna be a request. Thank you, dude. San Jose, Cali time. Thank Grab you. Stay I will do that for sure. Oh my God. Sherwin Williams looking I mean it hit the look what Sherwin Williams just tested the 200 day moving average for the first time since June of last year a couple days ago and it's bounced all of it so we're talking about like here, here's your little range here right you got up the bottom of a range and eh, talk, talk, talk the range so range bound asset that hit the bottom uh, ended up look at that on the daily classic bullish divergence nice one Charizard Barely, but it's real. Oh, same here. Oh, man. All right, so some daily seller exhaustion at uh, levels where you can't break that. You ever break that, you are screwed. You're in a lot of trouble if you ever break uh, 663 on Sherwin Williams. Yes, paint. So you think the target, if this holds, and it could always double bottom down here, whatever. But uh, if it holds 663, 670 long enough, eventual target 746, 750 again, okay? That's it, Charizard. Pretty pretty nice one. Pretty pretty good looking chart. Again, it's been almost a year since you've tested the 200 day moving average again. Nice. We're good. We're good. All right. So um, we were at 50K. We were at 51,200 plus dollars. Now, all of a sudden, we're $1,000 down. You understand Bitcoin volatility is really elevated. Really elevated. $1,000 swing in a matter of like 15, 20 minutes, like a joke, okay? Uh, up and down, up and down. All right, no big deal. Great news though, if the, all this stuff keeps playing, I mean, that's like the best thing, you know, you could even ask for really. A bullish engulfing candle yesterday with hidden bullish divergence now starting to really develop impending price action continuation to the upside being implied. So, you know, it can go halfway down, what, it can go down to 47.2 today or something, whatever. Eventually, it's just going to make a, you know, it'll indecision candle or something. But eventually, like, that's being implied by this indicator on the daily. Continuation. So, thanks so much for everyone coming out. Um, thanks for all the new patrons who have, uh, you know, stuck around who were nudes and uh, the ones who have recently joined today. Remember, it's the first day of the month this is the best time to join Patreon, get trade setups, education, and one of the most active, helpful, high quality, educational uh, communities that exist in crypto and trading, all right? So, and it's like the best single best way to join or to support what I do. If you like my live streams, that's the best way to do it, right? Join Patreon, uh, boom. So, um, Thank you for the likes, love, support, contributions today. And we'll uh, we'll end it how we started it, because I really love this new song by Two Feet called Never Enough. Uh, sometimes it's like Bitcoin, right? It was like this weekend, was this song was Bitcoin because it was never enough. The divergence wasn't enough till triple. All right. All right, y'all. I'll be back.
Till next time, respect the T A. It's never enough, never enough, never enough. I think you just don't care. Never enough, never enough, never enough. But then you touch my hair. Never enough, never enough, never enough. Oh baby, it's not fair. Never enough, never enough, never enough, never enough. I think you just don't care. But then you touch my hair. Is that a joint? All right, 105 subs till 50K.